Good morning, my maths group. It's Tuesday and we're going to get ready for our arithmetic starter and our video for today. I uh, hope you got on well yesterday with your learning. Um, moving on to um, elements of geometry and position. Um, so I hope you uh, found the videos useful to support you with your learning. Um, so for today's video, we're going to be looking at subtracting fractions with different denominators. Um, and like yesterday, just like you to have a look at this question, 5, 6 minus a half. What would you need to do to be able to answer that question? So just have a think, and then we're going to work together to solve that question. Okay, children. So let's have a look at this then. 5, 6 minus a half. Now, hopefully you identified that you can't subtract those two fractions because the denominators are different. The same as yesterday when we were adding fractions is the same for subtracting fractions need to make sure that both fractions have the same common denominator to be able to do that. So let's have a look then. Same as when we were adding, we look at the highest denominator and see if the lower denominator is a multiple of that number. So our highest denominator is 6. Is 2 a multiple of 6? Well, yes, it is. So we know a common denominator will be 6. So 5, 6 can stay the same, and we are subtracting this half now. So we need to change a half into 6. Well, what do I do to 2, the denominator, to get to 6? I multiply that by 3, so I need to do exactly the same for the numerator. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. Now they are the same denominator, I can do the subtraction. 5 minus 3 is 2. The denominator stays the same as 6. 2, 6. Or you may have noticed that we could simplify that further. I know that 2 is a multiple of 6. So that could be simplified to 1 third. Well done if you managed to do that. Let's have a go look at a question I'd like you to have a go at yourself. 10 twelfths minus 2 thirds. Pause the video, have a go at doing that, and when, when you're ready, unpause the video and we'll have a look at it together. Right, children, well done for having a go. So let's have a look. We already know the denominators we need to find a common denominator. Let's look at the biggest denominator. In this instance, 12. Is 3 a multiple of 12? Well, yes it is, because if I multiply 3 by 4, I get 12. So we have found the common denominator of 12. 10, 12 stays exactly the same. What have I done to 2 thirds to get something 12? I multiplied 3 by 4 to get to 12, so I need to multiply 2 by 4 to get to 12. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. Well done if you've got that step there already. Now we can subtract them because we've got the same denominator. 10 minus 8 is 2. The denominator 12 stays the same. Or could we simplify that? Yes, we could because we know that 2 is a multiple of 12. So that then would become 1, 6. Well done if you managed to do that. Excellent work. If not, go back through the video again, see maybe where you made a mistake and have another go. Once you've done that, one of your questions, your arithmetic starter today, is 6 sevenths minus 2 thirds. So think about having a real good go at that and then move on to the main part of your learning for today. Have a really good session, children, and I will see you tomorrow.